hey what's up my community guys how are you guys doing today i want to say happy new month to you all and welcome to the month of december we are so grateful that we are here today and we are also grateful that we are going to end this 2023 in the good note okay okay i want to use this opportunity to say thank you all for taking out your time to watch this video i have gone through all your comments i have gone through all your suggestion i have gone through critically and every of your comments i'll be treating on this video okay in this today's lecture we'll be doing getting our case live okay we're getting it live because i'm having the same issue so i will show you how i have resolved other people's own i have choose not to do my own I'll say i come to bring it to you people live and you'll see the process that i went through so that we'll go through together okay so i want to say thank you all for those of you that have made it possible for us to hit a hundred and something subscribers it can't just be me it's a collection of your efforts i want to say thank you all as i do not take this for granted seriously i do not take it for granted and i'm going to read it out loud to you guys okay okay i'm gonna read as it says let's have a round of applause for you guys okay i'm having a round of applause for you guys it says it's out time to get out of the roof and make a shout okay i'm shouting for you guys okay i want to say thank you and i just take this for granted so without further ado let's dive into this lecture and let's treat each question as they came one after the other and i hope all of us will be fine thank you Okay, this first question is from Dejumole. Okay, he asks, he said, uh, he dropped a comment, he said, Dear customer, can they go and validate your KYC online in order to get your KCT and migrate your meter? That is the error message I got after I inquired my meter number. My NIN is already linked, so I don't understand this, please. Okay, Dejumole, um, you are the, one of the reasons why we're doing a live video on this particular topic. So just watch to the end so that you see how we can get around get away around this uh, uh, validation of kct okay so so stay put okay now this one is from omore where i say hello can i use my nin when i'm not the landlord the answer to this question is yes you can use your nin when you're not the landlord but when you are linking your nin it is column that says are you the landlord don't mark that column once you mark that column Remember that the, the meter has been purchased with an NIN, so there's an already existing data. So what uh, Ikeja Electric is trying to do is to what is to validate that information, is to do an update. Okay, so once you use that, I am the landlord. When you are not the landlord, automatically the data conflicts. So and you can no longer use that NIN once you have clicked that part. You can no longer use that NIN. So I advise you to go and get a fresh NIN okay it gets fresh nin and when you are linking it again don't click i am the landlord okay then once you are done you can i also so you have to be to, to be sure that you link your nin i also show you in this video as you progress okay okay now this is from from zz this is say omo what about us with unreachable landlord what is the consequence of using our nin to register can we also undo it in the future yes it's possible for you to undo it in the future for those of you that don't have a reachable landlord you cannot be in darkness because the landlord is not around so make sure when you are linking the meter don't use i am the landlord that is the only issue you are going to have if you use i am the landlord you're going to have an issue when you're linking the nin so just leave that space blank and link the nin okay so yes you can unlink it in the future when the time comes so i hope i will able to answer this Okay, but let's move to the next question. Okay, this question is from 6VI Sun Media. Okay, can I unregister the NIN when leaving the apartment since it's not my property? Yes, I think so. I think so. I'm not so sure, but I think so. Now, he also asked another question. He said, thank you. Thanks. Can one NIN function for more than one meter? Your NIN can only function for one and one meter if you are the landlord. Don't forget, landlord may have more than one tenant. So the process of getting those properties, he probably would have used his NIN. So a landlord can use his NIN for multiple meters. But you as an individual, you only you can't use it more than one. And you have linked it and you have an issue. 
okay that means you cannot use that nin to link any meter again so take note of that is a hands-on experience i got when i have when i'm having my own issue when i went to the nepa office okay then this olua shame it's a nice video but you should also speak to people that have completed their nim but receive message like go and validate your nim this is the reason why i'm doing this video you are one of the reasons why i'm doing this video like i said i've gone through your comments and i'm taking it taking out so then one after the other Lua Shion, thank you okay this is from right uche he said good evening how do i know that my how do i know that a token has been accepted we'll see that in this live video so just stay put thank you so now let's listen so these are the possible errors for those of us that ask that these are the errors that we are getting okay dear customer kindly go to and validate your kyc blah 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 okay we'll be seeing the live the live updates today okay so just watch this video to the end and uh, at the end of it all we want to believe that those of us are having issues with the recharging we'll get our light restored thank you without further ado i think this is high time we have to go into the live um upgrade and acquiring of our kct so let's drive in thank you thank you thank you okay and if you're here you're still watching you don't subscribe to our youtube channel okay laptop doctor is um it's an IC company that is responsible for um that have a service center responsible for taking care of your laptop and smartphones okay we created this channel so that not just that we just take your money and after the service you are gone we also want to use this opportunity that's why we created this channel so that you can also have extra value services from us okay so we drop educational video concerning it related issues so please make use the opportunity to subscribe to our youtube channel um and put on the bell notification icon as our videos are dropping three times a week on repair and maintenance on it related news You'll be one of the first persons to get this alert thank you thank you thank you so first how to know that your kct has been linked so i use normally i use opa to do a recharge so i'm going to put in my meter number now okay for us to know that your your kct has been linked once i put in my meter number this is what it will show me okay once it shows that the account doesn't exist that means your meter has not been linked or you linked it and you use i am the landlord but you are not the landlord so I'm going to put my meter number right away so that you can see it and you see the error that it will bring okay now this is to tell me say verifying you say account does not exist please check and re-enter that means this particular this um, meter number has not been linked or probably you link it and you click on i'm the landlord when you're not the landlord so the, the data did not correspond so this is how you know that your meter has not the your nin has not been linked successfully okay so but when you put in another i'm going to put in the same number after i have linked it you see that it will bring out your name once it bring out your name or the name of the meter that means it has been properly linked okay so i use op i'm just giving you for instance this is what i did i use op so he brought out my name after when i did for the second after linking it properly it brought out my name so if it brings out your name that means it has been linked properly so the next one we're going to do now is to have to buy token and get our kct one and two okay i noticed that ikeja electric wants you to come to their website to buy the uh, token so they want to take the commission and everything they don't want you to go through the other type of third party agents so i'm using the Keja electric website to go and buy the token so i'll be displaying the link on the screen so that you can see it right away okay so now you, know, you have to go to um, www.ikejaelectric.com when you go to Ikeja Electric, you click on online payments at the top there you click on online payments then it will bring this particular dialog box to you so you see there's postpaid and there's prepaid so you select the prepaid option the first thing to do is to put in your meter number and put in your phone number and email and you click on next okay so i'm putting my um what's it called my meter number and also i'm putting my phone number then email so the phone number and the email will be the means of communication okay now the next thing you have to do is to put an amount you put an amount depending on the minimum your meter can carry so mine is 
7,000 plus. Then at this point, I have to put in my card details. I'm using a GT bank card. I tried to pay, it didn't work. Probably might work for you. So I'm uh, putting in my card. Uh, since I'm buying it's an online payment, so that accepts card, card payment. So I'm putting my card, putting my details of my card. Once you submit it and they confirm it, automatically you will receive a token and your KCT1 and KCT2. So if you want to check on your video on how to um, use, um, upgrade the KCT1, you can check my previous video on the top. Okay, this is how you can get your KCT1. So by the time they confirm it, I'll show you how the KCT1 and KCT2, how, how it dropped on my phone, okay? So I will show you, you see how the KCT1 and KCT2 be dropping on my phone right away as I confirm my payment. Uh, I'll be putting my PIN for my ATM card, which is my transaction PIN. I'll be putting it right away. Okay, after I put in my PIN, my bank have to send me an OTP okay, to my phone. Okay, you will see the OTP, the OTP will drop on my phone right away. Okay, as the OTP drops on my phone, and the next thing you will see, you will get it from, from my phone right now is what? The KCT and my token. That's what you will be getting right away. Once I put in my uh, authentication code to be sent to that email and that phone number. If you don't have an email, email is an email is optional. The phone number is compulsory. Say successful. Okay, so you see how the KCT and the token will drop on my phone right away just as you can see okay i hope you find this video helpful please share this video subscribe to our channel really appreciate you see you bye